Crack and Pippin Can. I am your favorite entrepreneur, and today, if you like Attack on Titan and Blue Exorcist, I got a dope amalgamite for you. And this is a story about Aaron Akuma Nimrod. The combination of Aaron Yeager from Attack on Titan and Ren Akumura from Blue Exorcist. So, Aaron comes from an interesting background uh, in this particular world. Titans are people born with extra supernatural abilities that allows them to fight demons. Demons would be taking the place of Titans as if it was Attack on Titan. Demons, of course, are always the worst, so they get the crappiest role. Aaron was born a Titan. There's certain Things you can tell about kids when they're born and lets you know their Titan is. Aaron was just starting to show his Titan form, Titan abilities. And that happening, his village was raided. Uh, him and his family, they were attacked. He was with a friend of the family, what they, I guess, considered like an adopted daughter or sister. And his best friend at the time were over the house. And Titans attacked and killed his father. Aaron watched it and of course, like any good story. This is where his latent powers wake up. But also where we, we find out that Aaron is actually part demon and part, uh, uh, he's up there, you know, he's the son of Satan. He ends up uh, rampaging for a little while, destroying the, the demon in front of him, of course, and then passing out because his body just awakened an ability he wasn't aware of. And he wakes up on a boat with his best friend and a uh, friend of the family and his eyes are a different color and he has it set in his head that he's going to destroy all demons because they took everything away from him. Immediately goes to, I guess, goes to the next village or, well, in this particular universe of what I, this combination of things. Uh, there's one giant wall that's very, very thick and has a bunch of different villages encased in walls all throughout it. Aaron's village, they get on the boat, go to one of the more central villages, and at that village he learns about the military and a specific corps called the Hunter Corps that actually are ba the ones to basically attack demons. Like, they go fight demons. That's their job. He's pretty much built for it. His Titan abilities make him built for it. He still doesn't know about his demon abilities, and he doesn't know about the blade that pierced his chest to seal his abilities after he destroyed the demon. And he finds out on his first mission because of course he almost ends up dead and awakens all of his abilities at the same time. Half of the abilities he aren't aware of and the ones he started manifesting and getting control over in his training. And he erupts from the demon who ate him and goes on a rampage but he's not a different size. He's the same size he always was, but he just doesn't. He looks like a miniature version of a demon. His sister or adopted friend of the family is about to almost die, and he saves her. And after he saves her, he uh, he starts to grow in size and starts to fight even more. And he's paying none of the other titans in the hunter corps any mind. He's just going after everyone. That's a demon. Like, that's it. He just go ahead. And of course, he starts to run out of power. And when he does run out, the demons start eating his, what is considered, his, his giant form, his carcass, that carcass thing. And as they start eating it, he sort of pushes his way out of the, the back of him, the neck, at the top of the spinal cord, where the same weakness is for the demons. He pops out of that changes back to normal and then his best friend and uh, friend of the family, the girl, come pick him up. Take him to basically their, their home, their, 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 the Hunter Corps headquarters. Taking him there, they lock him up because they're freaked the fuck out as to why he's changing into this thing and then the Blue Flames let them know that he's the son of this demon lord, Satan. And it just gets out of hand. If you've made it to this point in the video, I appreciate you. Just do me one favor. Like, comment, share, and subscribe to your boy's channel. Why? Because we make it on the road to 20K, baby. We try and get there by next August. Latest is by next December. I think we can get there. 
need your help to do it. So let's get it. Because I'm excited. And this character, Full Blood of Red, was fun. Thank you for the idea. Thank you for this subscriber's choice video. You are a diamond boss. And if anyone has any other characters that they want to see combined, put them in the comments. They do not all have to be anime. They do not all have to be, they do not all have to be cartoons. They can be people. It, it, it's fine. It can be characters from movies. I love a challenge. Let's get it. Like, I'm excited. Let's do this. Let's do this. Femme Kim. We got to get back to Aaron. And if they try to kill him, and when they do, he ends up shifting into this form again and blocks and protects him and his best friend and his sister with the flames. And he's freaked out by himself because he didn't know he could do it. And they give him a mission to try and prove he's not a, uh, a hazard to their health, as usual, because no one seems to trust him. And in his mission, he has to basically block the colossal demon's uh, attack on the last village. He has to close up the hole that it created. Which wasn't easy, because when he changed into his demon form again, conscious, he was too unsure of himself and lost control. He got control of himself due to his best friend, like, basically reiterating his why why he was joining the Hunter Corps, why he was on this mission, all of that. He got control, was able to change his size, pick up this massive boulder. Yes, I went in that direction, don't judge me, and closed up the hole that the Colossal Titan had made at the gate. Things get more interesting from there. This is just the start of the story. So as you know already, Aaron can turn into a Titan. He has his own, he has a different Titan form than most. He has blue flames that excrete from his body, but with between his titan and his uh, demon form, he has a lot of extra abilities. He has abnormally strong the mug. Extremely hard to kill, probably bones of steel. It was called Demon Sight or Titan Vision. This comes from his his father's bloodline, that uh that Titan DNA. Yeah, he can basically just see demons. But because of the demon in him, he can also see possessed demons and the different types of demons as well. So if there's a demon that's hiding inside someone's body, he can determine if that's a thing. He can also see demons coming from ways away. He has extra hunter senses or titan senses that help him sense and smell and have an awareness of demons. He has, a, uh, he has abilities that allow him to use the sword that was crammed into his chest by a special power, aka a sealing spell, helps him control himself. And he can also use that weapon in a fight. That is his like his major weapon. He doesn't use a lot of the weapon that everyone else does because he's strong enough to not have to. He, he still uses it, but not to the same extent as everyone else. Using flames as a weapon, literally weapons, like constructs, weapons out of these abilities. He can move at super fast speeds and a whole lot more. I don't want to spoil it too much. Let's just say his flames burn differently than everything else. And of course, that's all I got for you. I am your favorite entrepreneur based in mental and you stopped by. So I appreciate you. For I hope you come back again after you like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Peace, blessings, love you forever, and I will see you in the next video.